So today we learned about ionic bonds. Now ionic bonds are created when we have a cation plus an anion. A cation is named, so if we want to name a cation, it is named by just writing the element name with the word ion after it. So if I have calcium plus 2, I write calcium ion. For an anion, to name that, I just take my element name stem and then I add IDE I'd, at the end of it. So if I have sulfur Sulfur is S minus 2. That becomes sulfide. So if I am reacting two elements together, if I have calcium plus nitrogen, I need to follow two steps in order to determine what my compound is going to be. First, I need to write its Lewis structure. And that's just its electron dot diagram. So calcium is in group 2 of your periodic table, it is number 20, and therefore it's going to have a positive 2 charge, and it has 2 valence electrons. So if it has 2 valence electrons, my calcium is going to have 2 dots next to it. Nitrogen is in group 15 or 5A means it's going to have 5 valence electron and that's going to want to get 3 more electrons so it's going to have a charge of negative 3. Remembering that nonmetals want to gain electrons to get their full octet and metals want to lose electrons to get an empty outer shell. So when we draw nitrogen we write our N and we put in our 5 electrons as little dots around it. So I have my calcium with its two dots, my nitrogen with its five dots, and now I see where I have holes. I have a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. So I take my one electron from calcium and put it there, my second electron from calcium put it here, but now I still have my dot on the right hand side of my nitrogen that needs an electron. So that means I need to make another calcium with its electron dot structure. Move this electron to fulfill that hole, but now calcium has an extra electron. So now I need to write another nitrogen, again putting its Lewis dot structure. And I'm going to move this electron to its hole that's here, but yet we have two more holes to fill. So I need to make another calcium add in its two electrons and now move one electron into the hole here one electron into the hole here. So now every electron has a home. So then I report what do I have. So I write my calcium and I have three calciums and then I report my nitrogens and I have two nitrogens. So I come up with Ca3N2 Ca3 and 2. Now I need to name it. I have my cation, I have my anion. Our cation we name by just writing the name. Our anion we name by using our stem, nitr, and then we add our IDE ending, so I have nitride. So the name of my compound I created was net calcium nitride.